Hi everyone. So uh, today um, I'm just going to talk about uh, the update to Atmosphere, which is the latest uh, version that has been released. So this release here isn't um, due to Nintendo updating their firmware. This is just um, sort of an incremental update that they have released. So there's actually been two releases. So there's the latest one is 0.20.1. But just a few days ago, um, there was actually um, a bigger update, and 0.20.1 just added, um, it had a little fix in it from 0.20. So I'm going to go down to here to 0.20 first. So this one was released, uh, it's five days ago as the time of recording this video. Uh, sorry, I didn't get this out quicker. Um, I have been very busy at the moment. So. Um, in here there is lots of things that they have updated here um, and in all honesty a lot of it has gone over my head so it's I'm not going to talk about it in too much detail because in all honesty I don't really know much of it but the main one well not main one the first one they've got up here is that they've actually managed to increment uh, implement some um, RAM uh, modifications and they've increased the RAM speed from 204 to 1600. So I don't really know what those figures mean, but basically what it means is um, they've updated the boot speed. So uh, what they're talking about is from the time you uh, launch your uh, exploit to it actually um, booting into a sort of a playable uh, version, or as you can see here, from select Fusey to the home menu visible. So. They managed to almost half it, so 35 seconds down to 18 and 65 seconds down to 30, which is really good. Um, it says here it's mainly for the Mariko ones, so the people who are on Tigra and Arista, um, you're probably not going to notice much of a difference um, as it doesn't really manage to manipulate that RAM for those versions. But um, hopefully uh, we will uh, all notice it, or if not, um, the people who have had sort of a, a delayed um, boot have now got a better one. So says here September was replaced um, I don't know what that means or what it does so I'm not going to go into it so, a lot of stuff here about key blobs and stopping you from accidentally destroying key blobs um, so anyone who is who is worried about sort of um, doing these sort of things it might not know might know what's going on it's on about there but it looks like it's just sort of a safety feature they've put in there and for the people who know what they're doing um, they can use it um, a number of improvements were made to the DMNT cheat engine. Cheats were, which take in memory region of brand may now use types 2 or 3 to form accesses relative to alias. Not clear what that means. Uh, I presume it's just um, it opens up more options to manipulate the cheats and that's always a good thing. Um, Daybreak now provides a warning when to attempt in to install a firmware newer than the highest version of Atmosphere knows it supports. So this is actually a really good and useful feature. So if you're trying to update your switch, uh, this will stop you from doing it if uh, Atmosphere or Daybreak doesn't support it yet. So this does happen where Nintendo will bang out a new firmware um, and some people do upgrade and then go, oh, I can't access my um, custom firmware. What's going on? And it would be because you've gone past what Daybreak or Atmosphere um, supports. So this is going to stop you from doing that, which is really good, a uh, really useful feature to have, I think. And uh, a couple of minor issues were fixed. Um, I don't know either what those do. And general stability improvements. So there's always stability improvements to enhance user experience. So I recommend getting this update, <coughs> mainly for the boot speed, um, the block from um, update into a version you don't know and the stability improvements. I'm sure there is lots of other little things here that people might know what it's talking about or uh, might know uh, how useful these features are, but an upgrade is an update. Um, if you don't want to update this version, you do not have to because Nintendo haven't worked out, um, put out a new firmware yet, so it's not a mandatory one, but I can't see any reason why not to. And then the incremental update on top of this from um, uh, 0.20.1 is that on that um, RAM modification they made, that it was they actually did it to 1599.999 instead of 1600, and it was causing to be some performance degradation on the Mariko ones. So 
this is when you would put your uh, switch to sleep and then reboot it it was like it would be lagging or not performing to the sort of standard it should do um, which they fixed here um, it was a one-off EMC management code failed to initialize takeover so it was something that Nintendo had in their code which stopped and also it caused the frequency to be wrong but they fixed it um, they've got general stability improvements to enhance the user experience I can't imagine there's anything different from 0.20.0 to 0.20.1 um, apart from this uh, RAM thing which was a feature they released in 0.20.0 so go up to the 0.20.1 straight away skip over 0.20.0 to stop having that degradation performance so you can download um, this one here with HBL and uh, Homebrew menu or you can do it via the built-in um, upgrader that I've very much promoted uh, on your switch before so I'm going to switch over to my switch now and then we will um, open up the all-in-one updater and update um, live on the uh, recording because I haven't done this just yet I'm still on oh that one 0.19.5 so I'm going to switch over it might be a little bit of a um, cut here where I switch over to my um, capture software and then reopen it so bear with me so here we are in the homebrew menu and I've highlighted the all-in-one switch updater which is what we're going to be selecting now to update our um, atmosphere version to the latest version so if you just open up your all-in-one switch updater it should open up um, I have a flat screen but it's because it's going very slow I imagine um, but once we open it up we're going to go straight to update atmosphere and choose it so there we go update atmosphere and as you can see over to the right um, that it has uh, 0.20.1 uh, including the homebrew uh, menu which is the one you want um, and then down here you've got deep sea by team Neptune is a custom firmware package that includes atmosphere Hitake and various homebrew apps so you don't need to download that um, but you can always do it if you want to and so we'll go up here and just update atmosphere and it's good. it says well basic um, bit of information for updating it's just so you know where it's getting it from so it's going to be downloading that file at the top um, and where it's getting it from which was the website we were just on it's a very um, small file so hopefully this is going to be very quick um, there we go if you want to I don't ever overwrite my config files um, and if you want to delete all the custom sys modules I don't do that either so I keep my sys modules and I keep my um, config files so I might just uh, quickly trim this for a second Okay, um, and then it's asking me if I want to download the latest Hikate. Um, if not, the switch will now reboot to a special payload to order to finalize the install. But I'll download it anyway. I'm not entirely sure if Hikate is updated, but it's always worth doing. Uh, don't override these config files again. And the switch will now update, uh, reboot to the payload. So that is the end of that, and I will be back in just one minute. Sorry if that cut quickly, um, I don't want to get a copyright strike. So um, if you go to uh, your settings and all the way down to system, you can see that it's uh, on the top right there. So system update and then below, it says current system version 12.1.0, which is uh, the latest Nintendo uh, official firmware. And then next to it, atmosphere or AMS 20.1. Uh, uh, so it's 0.20.1. And that is it. So it's all done. Very easy to do. Um, so hopefully you guys um, are getting the latest version. Um, hit me up with any questions and I'll try to answer in the comments. Thank you very much.